We call them the new Keynesians coming in of age in an era of high inflation. They believe the Federal Reserve has a role to play in correcting failures that occur in free markets. And now it looks like they'll be dominating or at least playing a very significant role in the makeup of the Fed. Bloomberg Fed reporter Matt Bosler wrote about this in the new issue of Bloomberg Markets and he joined us now. Sharmeen Mosavar Rahmani of Goldman Sachs is still with us as well. Matt. Um, explain to us kind of the thinking behind these guys. And right, we're talking about people who basically got their PhDs around the time that we were seeing high inflation and we were seeing the Fed control it. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we had 15% inflation in the United States in 1979, right? And then Paul Volcker came in uh, that year and the next year, raised interest rates really high, crushed, crushed inflation, caused two recessions. So this is exactly the time when some of these new um, appointees to the Fed board uh, that have been appointed by Donald Trump were getting their PhDs. So Marvin Goodfriend, for example, got his PhD in 1980. Rich Clarida, who's up for vice chair, got his PhD in 1983. And so they came of age at a time when this was the central problem in economics that the community was trying to deal with. And that's why they've sort of built up this entire theory um, over the last you know, 30 years or so that really stems from that central uh, fact. And the problem is, as you mentioned in the intro, their main failure of free markets that the whole theory is designed to correct is inflation. Right now, it's not really a problem, so it's hard to see how relevant it still is. And, and so their response, I'm sure, would be, yeah, inflation's not a problem until it is. And by the time it's a problem, it's too late. And you got a problem, then you got to really overcorrect. Uh, so why are they wrong that it's just around the corner? Because that's, I think, what they're saying. Right, that's exactly right. And so one of the things is they've been saying that for several years now, right, as we've had this long expansion, unemployment has fallen so low, and inflation hasn't really picked up. And so that's why we're kind of setting up for a really interesting year in 2019, because they're going to be raising interest rates to that level of interest rates that they, they have called neutral, right? And so the big question is, do they go past that next year because they're so convinced that low unemployment is going to lead to inflation? Right now, the market's actually kind of leaning toward no, which is really interesting when you have these guys coming in who designed this whole theory in the first place into power.